Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a fashion haul of basically everything that I bought within the last three months. Um, yeah, so I'm very excited because I haven't been shopping in a while. And let's just get right into it. So the first thing I bought is from Zara. And it's this, um, what do you call it? A sweater t-shirt thing. Um, and it's... I believe I bought it for $49.90 without tax and it is quite thick if you can see it is not your standard cotton t-shirt uh, I am boiling I'm actually sweating in this right now because it's so hot uh, so con this does not breathe very well you will die if you wear this out in summer only wear this if you know you're gonna be indoors because otherwise this is not gonna work out it does have this distressed look um, it's almost like inside out stitching so the back looks like this and I'm wearing it with these distressed jeans if you follow me on Instagram you've seen these bad boys before and yeah I'm really liking it it really reminds me of the Yeezy line um, how much would this be in for the Yeezy line like $300 so this is so much cheaper and it's basically the same thing so I really like this. The second thing that I bought is from a brand called Anti-Social Social Club and this is a streetwear company that is doing really well right now and um, a friend of mine actually told me that there's a pop-up store in LA and I think they're still going on until May, May 12th I believe so if you're in LA or you're around the area, go check it out. So it's a funny story because I was waiting outside for like 10 minutes. There's this big black bouncer guy, obviously, um, controlling how many people go in and out. And like, it looks cool. Like, there, there's music, there's a cool, there's cool lighting. And I'm just it's so excited to like go in and like try on all these different stuff. And then I walk in after like they let three girls out. And then there literally three items in this huge space three items on a tiny white table and I was like <laughs> I was looking around I was like this can't be it like there has to be something else and that was it there were only three things so I bought two of those things and the first thing that I bought was this dad cap it is a pink hat with an adjustable strap which is good because I have a pretty big head um, and it's basically it says self doubts self doubts and um, anti-social social club on the side now this brand has been doing so well lately like if you go on their website basically everything is sold out so you know it is a very plain cap like if it didn't say anti-social social club I wouldn't buy it the next thing I got from Anti-Social Social Club is this pink sweater. Um, I got it in a medium and it basically, it says self-doubt, the void, don't know what that is, 801 Mateo Street, Los Angeles. So this is where I got, where the pop-up store is. And in the back it just says Anti-Social Social Club. So it's a very plain sweater. In terms of quality, I would say it is very good quality. It's thick, it'll keep you warm, and yeah, it's there's not really much to say about it. It's a very plain hoodie, and I like it. It's very unique. It's very unique because you can only get it at the pop-up store, and they're probably never going to sell this again, so I'm glad I got this. The next item I got is from a brand called Sandro. I'm actually graduating in three days, which is why I bought this plain white shirt from Sandro. Um, it was $195 without tax, which is, I know, crazy for a white shirt, but I was on the lookout for a cheaper alternative, so I went to Zara, I went to Express, I went basically anywhere that I could go to to try to find a cheaper alternative, but nothing really fit the way this shirt fit me. It fit my shoulders very well, it was very well tailored on my body, and that's why I had to buy it because nothing else looked that good. So yeah, that's what I got from Sandro. The next thing I got was a suit from Emporio Armani. 
and I will not show you this entire suit just because I want to keep it a surprise. Um, I will be graduating and wearing this, but basically this is the color of the suit. It's a very nice navy blue, and I love the suit. It's from the David line, so it's um, a slimmer fit fitted suit. And yeah, I can't wait to wear this on Friday. The next thing that I got is from Hermes, and it is this Micro Kelly bracelet. What I really like about this bracelet is it's very understated, besides the, the metal, but um, yeah, it's very understated. It's not like the classic H click clack bracelets, I believe, with the ginormous H, and you know, when everyone sees it, it's like, oh, it's Hermes. It took me a while to learn how to put it on. It's just really, it's like this clasp. It's kind of hard to put on yourself, but I got used to it. I personally don't really wear that much jewelry. I only wear bracelets. I occasionally wear rings. Um, my dream bracelet that I've been dying to get for, for the last like two years is the Cartier Love bracelet. Um, I'm sure all of you guys know that, but that's like $6,000, so <laughs> I'm just, I guess, event hoping that I'll, I'll eventually get that. But um, this uh, Micro Kelly bracelet from Hermes retails for $480, I believe, without tax. So, yeah, that's this bracelet. The next thing I got was these sunglasses from Tom Ford. They are the Jacob sunglasses. And I got these in Las Vegas on a trip back in March. And I've always wanted a pair of Tom Ford sunglasses. And when I was at the store, I tried on a couple of different ones. And the good thing about Tom Ford sunglasses for people like me is I have a pretty wide face. Like my face isn't very big this way, but it's quite wide. So I need wide frame sunglasses. So. This fits very well on me. If you have a narrower face, Tom Ford sunglasses might not be for you unless you get like aviators from, from Tom Ford. But um, I really like these sunglasses. They're classic. They have the classic T. The one thing that the gripe about these sunglasses for me is that it doesn't have the, I, I don't know what they're called, but you know, people with flat, flatter noses like me, like I don't have this really high, European Western bridged. Did I just say bridged? I meant high nose. So when my face gets a little oily throughout the day, these tend to slip down like this. And it's just really uncomfortable and <sighs> honestly that's a big thing for me because I hate it when sunglasses do that. The good thing about these sunglasses though is that they don't leave that red indentation in your skin after you wear them for a while. So yeah, they are very comfortable. And they're Tom Ford sunglasses. I do not remember how much these were, but you know, normal Tom Ford sunglasses range um, from about three hundred to four hundred dollars. But I know you can get them cheaper for like I've seen up to one fifty on some sites. So yeah, these are the Tom Ford Jacob sunglasses. So that is all for my fashion haul. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. And I know I didn't really buy that much stuff over the past three months, but some of the stuff was kind of expensive, so um, I didn't really buy that much, as much as I normally would. And yeah, if you guys want a more detailed review of any of these products, um, please let me know, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.